Hi Pisces, Rose Burnett here from Mind, Body, Soul, Bounce and this is your monthly tarot reading for May 2018. Now just remember it is a general reading so take from it what you will, whatever resonates and uh, if you'd like a personal reading with me, attune to your own energy and circumstances, the link is on this video and in the description box below. And uh, I will let you know I'm running a special this month so you can get a 30 minute pre-recorded tarot reading with me for uh, just $50 attuned to your own energy and circumstances. You get to ask uh, up to two questions about anything that uh, you'd like to know about in terms of guidance in your life, including love and romance, uh, your finances, career, wealth and abundance, whatever it is, general energies as well. And uh, yeah, so you can find that link if you want one of those on my video here today, as well as in the description box below. All right, let's get started, Pisces. So first up, I'm going to be pulling you a card from the Heart and Soul deck by Tony Carmine Salerno. And I will let you know I'm recording outside today. The energy is uh, quite lovely outside, so is the lighting, yeah. And uh, working with some um, frankincense insert, incense, which is all about uh, worth and abundance, yeah. And also some crystals, so uh, amethyst, uh, clear quartz to amplify everything. Moonstone, Jade for good luck, as well as uh, my beautiful Rose Quartz Angel, Citrine for success, and Hematite for protection. Oh, this is interesting. You've actually pulled two up. Okay. So oh, just get the light off that. Yep. Can you see that? It's got beautiful little love hearts all over it. And actually, so does this one, although this one's got some trees in it and a big moon. So beautiful. So let's have a look at them. So the first one is uh, this one here with the love hearts all over it. And what it says, Pisces, is sometimes the true purpose of things is hidden from view. Something doesn't quite make sense at the moment, but it soon will. All is about to change. A blessing is on its way and many more to follow. Soon you will feel as though it's raining rose petals from heaven. Oh my God, how beautiful. And for those of you, if this is the first time you're watching this, I'm a Pisces toe, by the way. So I, I get excited about this reading just as much as you do. All right, let's have a look at this one here. And uh, what it says is, you can see the smoke going past. Don't, don't worry right now, the incense just decided to waft across my face. What it says is, what you are today was greatly influenced by your past thoughts and attitudes. And your present thoughts and attitudes are the building blocks of your tomorrow. Therefore, be mindful and aware of your thoughts. Positive thoughts now will help you create a brighter future because every thought is a seed. If you plant weeds, you cannot expect to harvest beautiful flowers. <laughs> so cool. All about being in a positive mindset, yeah? All right. For those of you that have uh, been worrying about your finances or your life path, life purpose, I'm going to pull you some guidance from the Life Purpose deck. Well, let's see what comes up for you, Pisces. All right, what does Pisces need to know in May? Hmm. Okay, so you pulled the study card. So if you're unsure about your life path, life purpose, what it's basically saying is that uh, to research your options, because it's going to give you some more confidence, some more guidance in terms of getting that clarity. Uh, it's not directly about going back to study. It's more about, um, yeah, weighing up your options carefully too but just uh yeah if there's something you're thinking of doing look into it yeah all right what else does pisces need to know <laughs> one so flew out yeah you pulled the family card and it's basically just saying that your family and friends are very important not only to your life but your life purpose as well which means um the message i get from this is that it's about making sure that you have that life um, work balance, particularly so that your family needs are also taken care of. Do you know what I mean? So you have enough time with family and friends. Mm, beautiful. Mm. And you pulled the writing card. So uh, your ability to write, not only does it help you heal and inspire others, um, it can also teach as well. You have a, often when you go through challenges in life, you have come out the other side with a lot of learning, yeah, that you can share with others to help improve their lives as well. So, uh, yeah, it's not going to resonate with everyone. Tell me if it does. I love writing myself personally. It's one of the things that I love doing creatively. But, um, yeah, you have the ability to 
heal and inspire others if you so desire, Pisces. All right, I'm going to pull you a couple more. Oh, yeah, beautiful. It's all about creativity this month, Pisces. You've also pulled the artist card, and uh, it basically says that uh, engaging in artistic and creative pursuits is going to be great not only for your career but also for yourself, yeah. And often when this comes up, it's about tapping into our feminine side more than our masculine side, our creativity, our innovation. If you're thinking about being an artist, um, you know, Pisceans are particularly creative signs, yeah. We're, uh, we're very in tune to our own spirituality, but also in terms of creativity. So don't hold yourself back if you're thinking, oh, God, it's not a, it's not a, um, it's not a conventional life path, life path purpose, you know what I mean? A lot of Pisces aren't conventional, so you don't need to be. Often we feel like we're going against uh, what is the norm, yeah, and that's because we're supposed to, right? We're supposed to. So, uh, yeah, if you were... Uh, Get the urge to be creative this month. And it can be drawing, it can be painting, it can be music. Do you know what I mean? Um, it can be writing. You, be, you do art through your writing in terms of creativity as well. But, uh, yeah, it's going to help you this month. All right. What else does Pisces need to know? Mm. Ah, interesting. This comes out a bit for me. And I, I always wonder about it, right, because... Uh, it's about teaching, but it's about uh, inspiring young children or teaching young children to learn. So if that's you, love to hear your feedback in the comments below. <laughs> Often it comes up for me and I'm like, oh, I'm not sure about that one. I'm not sure. We'll see. Sometimes life unfolds without us uh, behind the scenes, without us uh, realising what's going on sometimes by the universe. All right, I'm going to pull you some guidance from the Goddess Guidance deck. What does Pisces need to know in May? Mm. Okay. So you pulled Siege, Quiet Time. So it's going to be very important, Pisces, to listen to your energy levels, sensitivities around you, particularly anything harsh going on. Withdraw yourself, yeah. Withdraw so that you can rejuvenate, relax, and um, it's often, a, it's often a practice of actually building yourself up, balancing yourself as well. But take that time, quiet time out when you need to, to uh, meditate, contemplate, get in touch with nature and spirit. Yeah? Often when that card comes out, right, it portends to something else coming out in the reading that we need to be aware of. Mm, okay. So your home is very important this month. So when this card comes up, it can mean that you're... Uh, buying a new home, you're uh, moving to a new home, there is going to be a healthy change in occupants, yeah. Um, I have actually just moved, so it's taken me, I have to be honest with you, it's taken me a little while to find my feet, because I don't know about you, but moving can be quite tiring, yeah, and uh, getting back into my flow, and uh, yeah, so, but uh, I have a look at, uh, if, you're, if you're connected with me on Instagram, go and check out the videos I shot yesterday, of the Cape Naturalist. Oh my God, amazing. I've just moved. I've done a sea change, right? I'll just share it with you. I've done a sea change. And one of my ideas is to film some of my videos and uh, readings in some of the most amazingly beautiful places here in the Southwest, yeah? Go and check that out. We did cliff hiking and the views are just amazing. And we saw a massive group of seals and an eagle, which is my spirit guide, of course, came to show for me yesterday. All right, so you've pulled white to Atara, which is sensitivity. Oh, no surprise here because we've also you've also pulled, I say we, we've also pulled Siege, Quiet Time. So uh, when the sensitivity card comes out, it's exactly what I said. Be mindful of harsh environments. Be mindful of negative people around you. Make sure you, you surround yourself with positive people this month. Uh, withdraw if you, need to, if you need to, yeah, and take that time for self. Uh, it's about protecting... Your inner child, your soul, your soul light, put healthy boundaries in place with people if you need to. Um, but just be mindful. When this card comes out, your spirituality is generally always rising. Yeah. When that happens, people are attracted to your energy. They absolutely are. All right. And that can be negative people. Like you just, uh, I, I, honestly, there's a number of circumstances I've had where my energy has been really high. People are just drawn to you naturally. So you just got to watch out to protect yourself from some of the lower negative energies here, lower vibrations. Okay. Butterfly transformation. 
uh, butterfly maiden, sorry, transformation. We've been going through this since March, since the moon, the new moon that was on the 17th of March. Pisces, we're still going through it. I was like going, going to uh, through April going, are we yet there yet? No, still transforming. Okay, well, May, it's up. We're still doing it. Yeah. Um, a great period of beautiful, beautiful change happening for many Pisceans. Um, don't fight it. Go with it. I know that sometimes there's going to be some uncertainty there. There's going to be some like, um, I don't know what's going to happen next. you just got to breathe through it, Pisces, and go, it's all working out in my favour. Not Even if you're not quite sure what the outcome is, just have faith and trust in yourself and the universe and the divine that they're working in your favour, yeah? All right. Mm. So you've got Diana, focused intention. So if you've been working on projects and plans, don't give up. Keep working on them um, because you will hit your mark. Often, and even if there's that um, that sense of uncertainty, just keep going, right? Put one foot in front of the other and keep going with your projects and your plans, yeah? Oh, my goodness. This came out for us last month too, yeah? Pretty sure it did. In fact, 100% sure it did. Guinevere, true love. Um, I think it came out for the mid-month reading, yeah? Uh, the universe is sending a great love to you right now. i uh, trying to, anyway. So Pisces, if you're looking for love, if you're single and looking for love, it's coming, if you allow it in. Um, put the, uh, do some manifesting in your quiet time of the type of beautiful love relationship you want to draw to you. If you are in a new relationship and you're going, is this is the one? Uh, hello, heads up, but always trust your heart space on that. You should you should have an inner knowing, right? Inner knowing that that's the one because you should have a great connection or feel that great connection. Um, beautiful. I'm actually going to pull one more because I feel driven to pull one more. Mm. Beautiful. You've pulled peace. Um, Irene, stop worrying. Everything's going to work out fine. Gorgeous. No, sitting right next to true love, by the way. Yeah, I just feel like there's a there's an undercurrent. The feeling I'm getting with your reading, uh, my reading too, is there's an undercurrent of uncertainty. Um, just a little bit of worry, not a great deal, but a little bit of worry around your projects, around your abundance, perhaps a little bit around love. Just know peace, peace is coming. Been going through a rough challenge. I think April, honestly, April. I don't know about you, Pisces. Let me know, right? There was. So much unusual hostility going on, and um, I actually watched another reader, and she was saying exactly the same thing. Like it's a hostility off the charts, just from random people, random people, you know. Um, in April, so uh, we're coming out of that, thank goodness. And I already felt the change, the shift yesterday. Yeah, I felt the shift yesterday because um, I'm recording this around about oh, 25th, 26th today. So yesterday was the 25th of April is when I started recording. Um, but I felt the shift yesterday, so just know peace is coming. Everything's going to be calmer, calmer in May, yeah? All right, I'm going to pull you some guidance from the crystal reading deck. Okay, of course. So sitting under quiet time siege is calcite relaxation. So important just to make sure that you take some time out to rejuvenate yourself so that... Uh, you have the empowerment and the strength to do whatever it is that you need to take on this month, Pisces, yeah? I don't know about you. Sometimes I'm just go, 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 and I, the relaxation thing just flies out the window. So sometimes it's a good reminder. Uh, you've just put selenite, spiritual awakening. No surprise this has come out because we've got white Tara sensitivity and siege quiet time. So as I said, your spirituality is rising. If you so wish to choose to tap into that, how do you uh, raise your vibration? Actually, somebody asked me yesterday, what does it mean when you've got a higher vibration? And I said, well, it's really interesting. It's about um, it's about getting out of the the, the lower chakras, which is all about worrying about your security and your home and your finances, and the next chakra up is all about your uh, your emotions and your sexuality. But when you move up the chakras to your heart chakra, your throat chakra, your uh, third eye chakra, and your crown chakra, which is your connection not only to your uh, your soul and your inner knowing, but also to your divinity, spirituality, the universe, right? You operate at a totally different level. Um, you don't get bogged down in the small stuff. You don't get down. You don't 
you know, there's not that sense of people get often get bogged down about talking about other people and worrying about other people's lives and negative news and all that, and you're just totally in a different headspace, yeah? And um, the things that you can accomplish when you're in that higher vibration is just amazing, and the way you show up in the world is amazing. So Pisces, if you feel you need to do it, get out there in nature this month, do your meditation, get your crystals going, talk to your angels, and uh, know that uh, your spiritual vibrations rise and, and it will connect, you will connect to uh, your high levels of spirituality. Mm. You've also pulled uh, rhodochrosite, which is acceptance, and it's sitting under white tara sensitivity, so it's about, to be honest with you, um, it's about not only accepting your life path, life purpose, it's also about acceptance of self. Um, if stuff's coming up for you and you're going, I don't really feel like I fit in. Well, hello, you're not meant to. I've already given you this message, right? You're a unique, special individual. You're not meant to fit in. Um, I'm getting the message that some of you need to step into leadership roles and take on whatever it is, those big dreams that you want to follow, right? And just accept that they're yours. They're yours, right? Don't be afraid to step into them. Um, also, don't be afraid to accept your own spirituality. Uh, you don't need to give a toss what other people think about it. Um, be brave enough to accept your own spirituality, yeah? It's a message coming through. Excuse my nose. It's a little cold where I am right now. We're changing from, uh, we're changing from autumn into winter. All right, what else does Pisces need to know? Oh, that wants to come out. Mm. So under Butterfly Maiden and Transformation, you pulled Hidden Art, Gratitude. So when you do your quiet time, just be, just practice the art of gratitude and appreciation. One, it's going to shift your mindset completely if you get stuck in any negative thought patterns or worry, yeah? Be grateful for what's going well in your life. Uh, it's going to totally change your outlook. And the message I'm getting with that, with the transformation sitting above it, right, is uh, to be grateful for the transformation that you're going through because it's going to take you to a whole new different level, yeah. Even if there's challenges in that and you have to go, oh, God, why did that happen, right? There's always a lesson in there for us, part of growth for us, yeah. Um, you've got lapis luxury, past life, so um, there could be some emotions coming up from the past for you this month. Just be aware of that, which is often some reason to take that quiet time release let it go don't let it bog you down um i'm honestly thinking or feeling not thinking but feeling the feeling that's coming through is that it's not a great deal you're coming to the end of it and just to push through it push through it all right what else does pisces need to know Of course, I just say, of course, Mother Earth, dear science, come out. Well, it just totally ties into, if you've seen any of my other readings, um, often we'll get double double messages and then confirmation, triple confirmation sometimes. But Mother Earth, one, it means that you've got a great connection to Mother Earth, to nature. It lights you up, yeah. You connect with your spirituality here. Yeah. It can also mean that you protect Mother Earth and, and animals as well. In terms of that, you've got quiet time and ta white Tara sensitivity. The best place for you in which to balance and ground yourself this month um, is out in nature. Yeah, out in nature. It's also sitting under Guinevere True Love. So when you do your manifesting for your true love to come in, talk to your angels out in nature, your highest spirit guides. Tell them what you want. Yeah. And you've also pulled Tanzanite Clarity. So if you've been worrying about your life path, life purpose, if you've been worrying about choosing which love partner to uh, take that next step with, you're going to get more clarity this month, yeah? You're going to get more clarity. Take that quiet time out to meditate and contemplate. The answers will come to you. Sitting right under peace, which is beautiful. Perhaps, perhaps the things that you've been worrying about you're going to get the clarity that you need this month and it's going to lead you to some of that inner peace that you've been searching for, Pisces. All right, I'm going to pull you some specific guidance from an energy oracle deck and let's see what comes up for you. Mm, okay. You pull the all tied up card. So it's sitting under, dare I say, quiet time for siege and relaxation, yeah? So uh, if you've been... Uh, 
feeling challenged by things, all tied up means that one, you could be holding yourself back with your own thoughts, basically, your own thoughts, your own worries, your own fears, your own doubts. Um, you need to release that Pisces. You need to release that feeling. Um, and as I've said, that's going to happen for you in terms of taking that quiet time for self. I told you that the messages would come through, didn't I, when the, about why you needed to have some quiet time? Mm-hmm. Amazing. Blossoming abundance coming. Beautiful. So if you've been worrying about your finances, I think we've kind of been getting this message for a while and uh, I think we've been getting it since March and I, I'm the same. I'm like, oh, come on then, when? Come on, bring it on, universe. Bring it on. Uh, just be hopeful that and trusting that it's coming, yeah? It's coming. Mm, because, <laughs> hilariously, it says have patience. Have patience at this time, yeah? Just, yeah. And have patience with yourself, particularly because it's sitting below sensitivity and acceptance, yeah? Um, yeah, have patience with yourself. Be kind, be gentle, particularly as you're going through still a period of transformation. Oh, beautiful. I only got the soulmate card, angel of love, so... I see you're ready for love. Man or woman, you're ready for love, yeah? Gone through a lot. Come out the other side. Um, yeah, you're ready. Beautiful. And it's sitting under transformation cards, so perhaps the transformation, for those of you that are single, the transformation's coming in your love life this month. Okay. Under focused intention. You have the magician in the mirror. So this means that you have everything within you to create the future that you want, whether it's in a beautiful love relationship, whether it's in your life path, life purpose, yeah? Absolutely everything. A couple more. All right, you pulled the second chakra, which is Archangel Ariel. So this is all about your emotions and your sexuality, yeah. So um, I'm going to say to you the message I'm getting through is to balance your emotions, yeah. Uh, don't get too stuck in them this month. Take that quiet time out to make sure you're balanced and grounded. That's basically so you can cope with whatever's coming along. Sitting under Mother Earth, yeah. It's also you've got true love above that, so... If you've got new love coming in and in the past you've had some challenges, this is the message coming through, is to drop the doubt, drop the worry, just be present, just enjoy the moment, yeah. Um, make sure you balance and grounded. Don't get too stuck in your emotions or your rational side thinking, which is overthinking everything, yeah. Just be, just be. All right, pull you one more. And you've also pulled the door to value. So uh, we've already got an indication that abundance is coming in, yeah? So you've also pulled the door to value me. Money's flying through the door. Hello. Sitting under peace. So you're going to get peace of mind. Your financial situation is going to be improving. Beautiful. All right. I'm going to pull you some guidance from the Kun Yin Oracle deck. What does Pisces need to know in May? Hmm. No, no, I want a clear message. Let's have a clear message, please. Oh, <laughs> seriously, this deck. Sometimes you pick up a deck, right, as a reader, and it's just got a mind of its own. It's going like, I'm going to be misbehaved today, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I want to give you all the cards. Well, no, we just want one specific. No, I didn't. Okay, we've pulled two. Pulled two, so um, I'm going to read them both for you because they're meant to come out. You've pulled Mother Fierce, which is all about protection, yeah? Divine protection. And Veil of the Shadows. So let's see what you need to know, Pisces. Alright, I'll hold it up for you one more time. You can see that there are many, many hands there and many goddesses. And what it says is, Mother Fierce is your guardian. Nothing can penetrate the passionate fire of her fearless love. Your safety is assured, beloved. 
in the midst of apparent challenge or threat, no matter how frightening it may seem, and no matter how insecure you may feel about taking a step on your spiritual path into more power, know you are safe, you are protected, you are loved. Wow, how on point is that? <sighs> Beloved, you've been growing spiritually, and sometimes it evokes responses from others. The responses may be loving and affirming, encouraging and validating, and many will choose to be inspired by your growth. And sometimes, however, lower vibrational responses will arise that might be fearful, insecure, jealous or angry. What did I say before? Yeah, the more sensitivity card, you've got to watch out for the negative energies attaching themselves to you this month, Pisces. These responses arise so that they can be healed. The healing for you now is how to choose to allow yourself to shine and not be diminished by the healing process of others. For the other, their healing is in their journey and you have offered them a great service. Know that you do not need to be afraid, nor do you need to hold yourself back out of fear. There is nothing that escapes the notice of the beloved mother, Kun Yin, and as a divine mother of fierce compassion and protection, she sees all, she knows all, she blesses all. If you ever wondered about karma, hello. <laughs> Sometimes you don't need to do anything about other people. Karma will sort itself out. Yeah, just saying. She can lift you beyond fear and threat, beloved, into a place of unity with divine love that secures you against any would-be threat and delivers you into peace. Let me just pull that up for you. <laughs> God, I love it when the cards come out to crown your reading and they're just so beautifully spot on. Peace. For you, the most benefit is in, from her protection. You need to trust in her light and realize she's shining through your own inner light. But she and you are one in truth. And from this perspective, you can realize that you have always got the right to say no to any energy of fear or doubt that seeks to cause you harm. Harm comes from lower vibration. It does not need to be feared, but it does need to be responded to with assertiveness and compassion. Kun Yin now helps you to retain your inner peace in the face of lower vibrational energies so that you can be kind and accepting of the divine essence in all existence, no matter how heavily veiled that divinity appears to be. And you'd also remain assertive so that only unconditionally loving vibrations are welcome in your energy field. Wow, there's actually a healing activity. Let's do it because I think it's going to be super beneficial, yeah? And what it says is, sit comfortably and say aloud, I call upon the unconditional love and divine protection of Queen Yin as the fierce mother now. Perceive or intend there is a huge ring of fire within which is a beautiful goddess, sitting in a meditative pose, with many arms fanning wide and with many all-seeing faces. She sees, protects and blesses in all directions. Imagine that her heart chakra burns with peaceful fire in the centre of her being and you can step into her heart now. Imagine any fear or threat, any insecurity or attack being burned away by the brightness of her heart. Feel the peace within her heart and the peace within you and say aloud, I surrender into the heart light and protection of the Divine Mother, fierce with love and compassion. No harm can penetrate her peace. On Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. Beautiful. And there's also an affirmation slash prayer. And what it says is, Take me into your heart, beloved Kun Yin, fierce with love. Where the pure fire of peace burns eternally, may I be blessed with peace and protection now and always. May I feel the loving protection of your consciousness within my heart. Om Shanti, beloved. Om Mani Padme Hum. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right, I love it when divine protection comes along. Just makes you feel so good, yeah? All right. And you also pulled the veil of the shadows. So uh, let's check this one out, yeah? Whenever two cards go, I was only going to pull you one from Kun Yin, right? But whenever they come out, they come out, yeah? So the message is meant to be. Mm. All right. And what it says is, a lotus blossoms with deep, rich mud in which she plunges her roots and draws great nourishment. From this mud made of water and earth, growth happens and great beauty is revealed. 
that your soul lotus thrives through the depth of emotion and aliveness of your body into which the plant herself can unfold as a lotus of light. Your soul lotus is blossoming, just like a plant that has outgrown the pot in which it has been planted and requires more soil to spread its roots and to continue growing. Soul lotus needs some more mud, some more water and earth energy so that it can grow and shine. In the spiritual worlds, all things serve. <laughs> I don't know that the uh, incense, frankincense incense, has just decided to waft straight across my face. <laughs> I'm sure you can see it. <laughs> Everything, including our darker emotions and parts of our body that we may not think are acceptable. They are actually good nourishment for our soul. The soul craves to love and be in love with all parts of you. Like a passionate divine lover, it wants to hold nothing back and become completely spiritually intimate with all aspects and all parts of you, whether you had thought they were lovable or not. This can be challenging because it can be extremely uncomfortable to visit and consciously engage with those aspects of our personality and our bodies that we have yet to really love and accept. Yet this is what you are guided to embrace now. This process might have started by taking a class or engaging in physical practice that honours the shadow part of you. If you have considered yourself to be an introverted person, it might be to begin to honour that counter side of yourself, the part that needs community and people in order to thrive. If you consider yourself to be a quiet person, you might need to explore how you might find more joy through sound, music and energy. If you consider yourself to be a passionate person, you could benefit from finding the part of yourself that is peaceful and content in the moment with things exactly as they are right now. This inner play isn't about saying who you are right now is not enough. It is about acknowledging that you are the thing that you believe you are not and finding a way to live with consciousness and love. It is about delving into parts of you that have been hidden in a veil of shadows and are now becoming ready to be revealed and lived as part of the beautiful and whole being that you are in truth. I'm just going to hold something up for you. Acceptance, yeah? Acceptance of self. In particular, this oracle asks you to look at where you can nourish your emotional and physical life with more focus, perhaps through the arts. <laughs> that came out for you. Creativity, journaling your dreams, creating collages, or engaging in dance or other forms of movement. Your spirit needs to thrive at this time. And, uh, okay, there's a healing through the valley of the shadows and it basically says to sit with your journal and write down five things that you admire in another but do not believe that you have within you and then do the same with five things that you dislike in another but cannot recognise in yourself and say, through the grace of Kun Yin and the healing purpose of nourishing myself with greater soul light now, show me how I can claim those lost parts of myself and live with them consciously and with love. And take a moment to imagine how the beautiful white parts of you that you don't see in yourself could be given an opportunity to grow. And an example might be that if you love the skills you see in another, you could commit to trying out some classes to see where your hidden talents lie. Take another moment to imagine how the dark parts you see and dislike in others could be recognised and forgiven in yourself and possibly turned into consciousness expression. An example might be that rage could be turned into healthy anger that sets firm boundaries. Acknowledge your courage in doing this work and take a moment to give thanks for your efforts and divine grace that will assist you on the journey to greater self-embodiment. I'm just say to you, often when the dark shadow side comes up, particularly if people are pushing your buttons, right? It can often be that if you're somebody that's quiet and not put, and you've got weak boundaries, you haven't put healthy boundaries in place with people, it's often that side of yourself that wants to be valued, appreciated, respected, yeah? And it's time to stand up for yourself in a firm, assertive and compassionate way, particularly with lower vibrational energies coming in, yeah? Um, to put those healthy boundaries in place so that you do feel that love, respect and appreciation. That's all I'm going to say on that, yeah? Uh, and if you don't know how to set healthy boundaries, if you feel if you don't even know if you've got weak boundaries or not, right? I've got a four-part video series, particularly when we've got our true love coming in. I will just say um, four-part video series on how to attract a soulmate. But part of that is uh, there's a big section in there on how to uh, 
know that you've got weak boundaries and how to set healthy boundaries, yeah, and how it can trip you up in love relationships, but all parts of your life, particularly with family, close family members and friends. Um, once you know how to do it, particularly if you've not had great examples of how to set healthy boundaries, uh, oh my God, it's amazingly amazing and enlightening. And you can get it for eight ninety five on my Vimeo channel. I will put the link on this video and in the description box below. All right. Now to finish off your reading, there is an affirmation slash prayer with this, and it says, "I pray to Kun Yin, beloved spiritual mother, please help me be fearless in the veil of the shadows, realizing that I am growing in self awareness." And whatever has grown ugly through lack of love will gleam like a polished jewel through my attention, willingness to love and accept all parts of me and my divinely inspired creativity in integrating this part of me into my life with more consciousness. On Mani Padme Hum, may all parts be blessed, of me be blessed, on Mani Padme Hum. Beautiful. It's all about being whole, Pisces. All right, if you like this reading, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have subscribed already, totally amazing. I do read all the comments. I do respond. If you're going to be negative, I'm just going to give you a heads up on that. Don't do that on this channel. No, take your butt outside and go balance and ground yourself and then come back. Yeah, all right. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste. Namaste.